We're back for the final portion, guys. Yeah. Quick, quick, quick. Let's go. All right, cool. So you guys load up into the ship, and unless there was anything else you wanted to get, um, you guys get underway. Um, so uh, as they're, like, casting off the mooring lines and uh, unfurling the sails and, and uh, getting out to sea, um, you guys are approached by uh, an elven woman who... Uh, you hadn't actually seen until uh, she came out of the cabin and came up to you guys. She looks um, fairly young. Uh, she's got kind of like straw blonde hair. Um, blue tattoos kind of on her, her face and arms. Um, and she's wearing leather armor that's adorned with like seagull feathers and uh, a necklace of like shark's teeth. She, I, uh, uh, we can't hear you, Allison. I, Some I fucking weird ass druid. Bow and <laughs> uh, I go to like bow and take her in, and I'll kiss it if she offers it to me. <laughs> she kind of like awkwardly holds it out there and says, "Are you the ones that? Uh... Well, you're the ones. I've been sent by our employer to help you. My name is Asha. Asha." Pleasure. I uh, I like your tats. <laughs> hey, baby, you married? <laughs> she she kind of cocks an eyebrow and says, "Thank you." Um, she skipped. I'm hoping that this trip doesn't take more than a few weeks, but it's hard to predict pirates. So, tell us about yourself. <laughs> kind of looks over at you, Nina, and says, I'll be helping you. That's enough for now. <laughs> uh, I'm familiar with the seas. Probably far more so than you guys are. Probably, uh, but uh, I came prepared, and I tapped my rapier. <laughs> as did I, and she taps a trident on her back. This, tra this can uh, transform water into ale. I I've come prepared. This can stab people in the throat. <laughs> you don't catch me between like, the tongs, that is. I like I point to Dorian, then I, point to her, and say, "She sounds more prepared." Yeah, I, I clap my hands. Actually, I, I sharpen her. between the tongs, so I just take your head off. So Nina claps her hands like, Whoa. "Sir, uh, where do we start?" Well, on the high seas, my dear, on the high seas. Hopefully, uh, Procan will bless us with good winds and. We'll find these scum quickly. We're good at uh, that. There was Our... islands in the yeah. such distance. Yes, there are some islands to the north and uh, east of here. We're thinking that they may be based out of one of them. I'm... Well, I'm a bit skeptical. There have been settlements on some of these islands, but nothing very permanent. I'm not sure that they would be able to keep there for long. No fresh water. Mm -hmm. She just kind of shrugs and says, but we're told that these people are moored somewhere within 50 miles or so of uh, the coast between Kanta and Ripian. So I guess we'll see. She kind of uh, looks at you, Nina, and says, are you planning on wearing that for the entire trip? And she points at your uh, breastplate. I'm like, well, sadly, it's the only thing that protects me, sorry. We have some spare leather armor, if you'd prefer it. It at least won't uh, bring you down to the locker. <laughs> I just look and I actually look at my swim skill for a second, and you know. <laughs> I look I, at my I, swim I just, stat. I just, <laughs> I, I, I just look at it, you know. Yeah, I should probably be fine for a while. Don't fall in. I uh, will be staying away from the sides. I also have a bow if it comes to it. She nods and looks at the rest of you and says that goes for all of you. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. I'm not planning on jumping in. Or falling in. I don't oh. either. 
I hope not. I don't really plan well, on going near the edges. <laughs> she she laughs at that and says, uh, "Not one for the high seas, are you?" No, not at all. No. Well, hopefully your skill with a, a blade outweighs your. It <laughs> does. Efficiency. It does. Before she even finishes, I'm just like, it does. <laughs> By far. She nods and says, "Well, that's why you're here. I'm here to get you to a place where your skills will be more useful." Hmm. Well, if uh, there's anything you need, let me know. I'm serving as first mate on this voyage. Don't remind the captain of that. It wasn't his original idea. And um, hopefully we'll all come back alive. We will. I like your confidence. Uh, if you have any notes to loved ones you'd like me to uh, uh, leave, should you not make it, um, we don't. let me know. We don't. Moving on. <clears throat> Uh, Asha, uh, could I leave you a note? <laughs> you reason I'm right. Fine, we got it. You could leave a note for Firefoot. No. She frowns She's and too says, stupid. "No." Fawn <laughs> well, is like disappointed in Firefoot. Like her intelligence is not that high, but she's like shocked at how low it is. She's like, "No, oh. she's Sorry, really I, I just, dumb." Okay. But I can tell that we're all sort of dumber. No. Travis, I look at her and I just ask, so, um, a question, do those mean anything? And I point to the tattoos. The tattoos? Yeah, you said she had tattoos and markings. She, she nods and says, they do. Okay. Is there anything else I can get you? Anti-nausea I'm sure... I'm sure we'll talk oh, more on the journey. Oh, she uh, okay. she heads up to the uh, up to the wheel to speak with the captain. Goddamn secrecy is starting to get really on my nerves. Yeah, you never did well well with that, Nina. Well, guys, I uh, <laughs> bid you good night. Jeez, sorry for me, since I've been forward. at sea, and I'm gonna go like it's been never since I've been at sea. <laughs> I, I bow out, and I'm gonna go like. <laughs> to, the, to the stern uh, against the railing, and I'm gonna just like <laughs> cock my, like find a little perch and cock myself back and lean back and get rocked by the waves. Nice. Okay. Darian, Darian likes being at sea. Okay. Cool. Yeah. You um. So you've been at sea quite a bit then, Darian. Well, remember, I well, perhaps people don't know, but I mean, where I grew up, I was quick, quickly moved down to a, a big port city where I spent a lot of time, and I spent a considerable amount of time at sea before I made my way, as I made my way to the south, to where we are now. It wasn't just a single straightforward voyage, so. Okay. So were you a sailor, a fisherman? Prefer not to share? Uh, no, I don't share anything further. I mean, I wasn't a sailor or a fisherman, but a passenger and uh, an entertainer, so. All right, cool. And, um... In the meantime, why don't I get uh, fortitude saves from everyone else? Really? I mean, I've I've been on a boat for like two months, Travis, trying to get the... It's not my first time on a boat. You were sick the whole time. <laughs> yeah, let's see how well you handled it. Okay. And that's last time. It could be different this time. <laughs> Josh, you just you know you can't hit fortitude saves. Exactly. <laughs> hey! Okay. That's a 15. That's pretty okay. good. I have a nine. Huh? Nice. Uh, yeah. Caven, Nina, no problem. Me? Fawn, you're you're uh not feeling too bad, but it's Yeah, it's a it's an unsettling um uh sensation, right? My inner ear is disturbed. <laughs> it's it's just you know, you're not used to the ground moving while you're on it, so I don't like it. I feel like a deer on cement. <laughs> yeah. So um uh, yeah, Asha, uh, Asha, excuse me, comes uh, over to you and says, "Stay towards the middle of the ship. There's less um, uh, turbulence there." I keep trying and I keep moving to the ends, and I don't like it. <laughs> it's not rocking too much, so. Yeah, we're talking about like it's like. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Shut up, you guys! Go fuck yourselves. I'm not used to this. 
<laughs> cool. I so go you guys, I go find like a pole in the middle of the boat and try and hug it. And... Yeah, I mean, there's a mast, awful. so no problem. Cool. I so you guys uh, head out on your way. Um, and as we fan. sail off into the night, Travis, I pull out my flute and just play a tune for myself. I, I okay. message you the tune I want to play. Uh, oh, sorry, it, I didn't see that. You can search for that on the jukebox. Is it on there? Yeah, I, I looked it up on... Uh... Oh, nice. Oh, God, please tell me it's not... Tiny. No, it's it's nothing... Just, just a sec, just a sec, guys. Um, so people are fading out and the ship's leaving harbor and I pull up my flute and play a song. Awesome. Cool. So let me uh, get this running. So you um, crank out the flute. Okay. Nice. Very good. Can you guys hear that, by the way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a little quiet, but... It's fine. Awesome. So you guys uh, continue along the high seas. Let's see uh, what you find. Okay. Um, you pass a few days uneventfully. Good. Um, Kaben, uh, after the first couple of days, um, are you talking with uh, Swiftwind at all? Doing anything with him? Um, I would have given the after that, like that last day, I would have given the ring back to Fawn. Yep. Also, I would be changing my spells since I no longer need to speak with animals, and I will okay. send them in just a moment. Sure. You guys can move on without me. Yeah, so, so I you're um, waiting for me. <laughs> yeah, after about uh, three days on the water, um, the uh, it's actually Asha at the wheel, and she calls down and says, "Hey, Mercs, get the captain." I go get the captain. Actually, would she probably know all your names by now, right? Yeah, yeah, I probably. introduced myself. Yeah. Depends yeah, if she's I mean, gonna call us Mercs. Several days at sea, so you've nothing to do. Yeah, she says. Um, Playing cards. Uh, Cabin, get the captain. Okay, I go get the captain. I'm, I'm dozing in a shady spot on deck. Mm -hmm. I'm trying not to vomit on deck. Let's say, <laughs> Captain uh, Asha, Asha, Asha wants you. Or she's called for you. Yeah, he kind of sighs and grumbles a little bit and gets up. Slings a uh, a small pouch around his neck and says, "All right, let's see what this is." And, uh, do you um, head up to the uh, uh, up to the uh, wheel with him? Sure, I would walk him back. Can you lower the music just a little bit? Yeah, it's just gotten a bit loud. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So you head up there. And, yeah, I'll go uh, like, hey, what's yeah? Just I guess to hear what's going on, not asking, but. She points in the distance, and uh, you see something on the horizon. The captain pulls a, uh, a spyglass out of his pouch and extends it. Uh, starts looking and says, I can't tell what it is. Did that come through for everyone else? Yes. Yes. Serious okay. business there in the music. <laughs> Based it's on that dead. note, I think we can safely assume... <laughs> <laughs> it is a ghost ship. <laughs> yeah, so you guys see something on the horizon uh, coming toward you. Wait, I'm redoing my spells. <laughs> yeah. Anti-ghost ship spells. I, I just yeah, like, look at Okay. Spanish ghost ship is my well, spell. Well, I mean, how how long until it gets close enough to where we will know? Um... You've never really been on a ship, so it's kind of no, tough I'm a, for No, I'm asking him, like yeah. the captain. He kind of shakes sure, his what, head. What should we do, like, if they're getting closer? I'm not sure. Well, get ready. Um, and he uh, motions over to um, to a uh, ballista that they have set up on the rear deck. 
Damn. You know how to use one of these? Uh, no. Nope. Is it like shooting a bar? Uh, not quite, my dear. I, uh, I perk up and I'm like, how about a crossbow? More similar, yes. I could probably take a hand at it. Alright. What about the rest of you? Bows and arrows? Yeah, bows and arrows. I'll go with a bow. Actually, yeah, like, um, Kevin, says, do you want to take the up top there? And I look at the crow's nest, which I assume the ship has. You're going to climb the crow's nest in armor? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a Kevin. Yeah, there is a crow's nest. I kind of look at it, and then I look back at Asha, like, is that a good idea? I feel Give like... you a little more height, you'd be able to see. You're sure the warriors, you tell me. I've never, Quan, never fought this shit like, before, no, I don't know if that's a no, bad no, idea or not. No. It'll provide you some cover. Fawn is like, maybe. <laughs> Fawn right. climbs up it. Oh. Okay. To the crow's so nest. Fawn, you just start climbing up the rigging? Yes. <laughs> Asha shrugs and says, Trying well, not guess... to look down, just looking up, just looking up. Yeah, um, yeah no problem. I mean, the, so the seas aren't there. too rough, so. Okay. Um, cool, you climb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll... I'm gonna ask them, like, is it worth it to, like, prepare like, little pieces of cloths have set my arrows on fire to, uh -oh. to burn there. Their ships, though, we can they get can. on their ship or on their on their sails. We could, but I don't, don't, the chance that don't set their ship alight ship. until they attack us. Oh, of yeah. course. I call over from the <laughs> ballista spot. She actually looks legitimately concerned when was, she says that. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm anticipating the worst case scenario here. Right, right. Well, they're they're coming towards us, says the captain. You, you lot get ready. I'll have my sailors uh, batten down the hatches. Okay. Are there torches on the outside of the ship? I mean, it's, I know it's not dark, but... I mean, you, you can get a torch, yeah, and set it up. Okay, I guess I'll start... I want to start doing that. That whole Okay, yeah, you stuff. you set up... Um, they have, like, a couple sconces that you can put them in or yeah, whatever, yeah, so... Yeah. Sure. No problem. Yeah, well, I still have arrows prepped from the last time we fought trolls, so... Okay. If Cape needs a few, I think we we'll need well, to redouse those with oil, don't we? But yeah, we start doing that. Hey, first. I we just start doing that. I just so happen to have a lot of oil still. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we start. Yeah, you've got like twenty. <laughs> loaded down with heavy armor and like forty jars of oil. Occasionally, we use it for cooking. It's probably not <laughs> yeah. the right oil, but it doesn't matter. Uh, no, Wait, you, was, uh, that would be awful. <laughs> sorry, we. Uh, I, we're, not, we're talking about starting a fire. Okay, we do that. Oil. We. I start okay. preparing that. Cool. So you guys start preparing, and um, after about a half an hour, the the ship uh, becomes much clearer, um, and you can see that it, it's it's uh, if it keeps on its current course, it's gonna like pass to you. Uh, I guess it would be starboard to starboard, since it's going in the other direction. Um, and you can all give me perception checks. I assume the captain is still looking for his little spyglass. Yeah, of course. Holy shit! Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Right, uh, uh, just in case, not Game for this role, but break out the <laughs> Buddha, if you would. <laughs> Buddha, Buddha, Buddha. I don't think power. so, yeah. Cool. Not yet, yeah, so but soon. Everyone but Fawn. I have it on standby. <laughs> you, you recognize <laughs> uh, a I'm up, Yeah, I'm up at the top like, oh god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> You're, uh, you recognize the uh, flag of the... Um, Nation of Kiribal. What Kiribal? Now this is Nation. a ghost ship. <laughs> it's not actually a ghost ship. No. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, where, where, where's Kiribal? Ghost. We came past it on our way into Cien. It's near Phoenix Point. No. No, no. that's the, that's Kiribili, but that's not a nation. That's a oh. nation, Kiribal. Oh, what the hell? Now, if you if you look on the map, you can see it on the northern continent. Ooh, got it. Wait, oh, I would oh, know. Shit. So That's I recognize place, that. Man. What's that? I said I recognize That's the that. Place, isn't it? The Orc Nation. I'm not thinking no. something else. The Orc Nation is literally called the Orc Nation. <laughs> doesn't oh, it doesn't have like a name. I call over the cabin and I say, "Doesn't that look like the Kiribal flag?" Yeah. It does. Captain, what do you make of it? 
trade vessel, maybe? Could be. Pirates don't, uh... Yeah, they wouldn't fly their flag. run up the Jolly Roger until they're attacking you, so... Could be a false flag. Have you been attacked well, by pirates? These pirates before? These pirates? I mean, no. Not, have you been they're... attacked by the one, the Black Fang, these the ones we're looking, they're trying to bait? Have you personally? I've been attacked by pirates before, boy, and I got away. That's why I'm on this job. Okay. Just <laughs> I was gonna ask something else, but you just kind of okay. How I'm set up is I have my scythe at my feet with my foot on it and my okay. boat out. So if I need to switch, I can just go. Okay. I, I cool. just. They're still I like Captain, far, far away right now, right? By your... uh, they're, they're coming up to where they're probably going to pass you, but they're like 200 feet off. Yeah. Okay. So. I say, Captain, let's play casual and. See what happens. He kind of looks and sees like all of you, the rest of your party with bows out. Casual. Yeah. And yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm up sitting, on the crow's nest. I'm sitting. I had, uh, can I say that I in the time proceeding that I loaded the ballista? Yeah, no problem. Yeah. So, but I'm not. I'm not at it. I'm kind of like sitting next to it, just sort of reclining, like sure. just chilling. Yep. All Actually, right, Travis. I got a question for you for the about this ship. How like wide is it? You have. Oh, how would you be able to tell that? Ten strides, twenty well, strides across. Oh, oh, oh your ship. This is, this is, sorry, this is, your ship. Yeah, is what you're asking. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Um, probably twenty-five feet wide. If I were to okay, estimate. Travis. One of the things I want to do is with my rope. <laughs> I want to tie it to the mast, and I want to tie it around me. <laughs> okay. So that way, probably if I go overboard, idea. I'll be, I'll be physically attached to said ship. Yes, you will. Um, cool. The, uh... <clears throat> the, uh, Kiribati ship, um... passes you guys, uh, and it doesn't seem to come much closer than 200 feet or so. Um, you can make out people on the deck. Um, one of the people, uh, kind of up on the, on the command deck waves, um, but other than that, they pass you. put my weapons away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, they, they seem to pass you without incident. Cool, so you I guys... Guess I, I, I guess I untie myself from the ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Asha comes down and says, that's probably actually a smart idea. Um, make sure to at least double knot it so it doesn't slip off when you we pull your ass mm -hmm. back up. It's... I, I, I look at it and I'm like, it's double knotted. And mm -hmm. I give it a good tug. <laughs> well, one down. She shrugs and says, this may take a while. Cool. So you guys pass the rest of the day without incident. Yeah, after the ship passes, I say, well, maybe they they could always be just a scouting ship for the pirates. Checking us out. She nods and says, could be. They didn't get very close, though. Looking for the name of the ship, they would have been close enough to see that. They had a spyglass, maybe. Very well. Uh, I shrugs and says, could well be. I unload the... I am, uh, you know, uncrank, decrank the ballista yep. and... Cool. How much ammo? I mean, they have ammo for the ballista, right? Yeah, there's like a box of like massive bolts to add to your yeah. feet. I stow it all and go back and return to my cat nap for the rest of the afternoon. All right, cool. I do minor task the ship requires if they ask. I just help out. They don't ask. <laughs> well, I guess I'm just bored laying down on the ship. Yeah, though. like it would take them more time to explain to you what to do than to actually do it. But right. move Let's object see. from object A to object B. Yeah, that's... It's more like adjusting sails and shit, so... Oh, I was talking about, like, heavy lifting. Why would they move cargo when they're on the sea? <laughs> I don't know. A puppy. It doesn't have to be cargo. Okay. Because why not? So, you guys pass a, a few more uneventful days, um, and it's probably your eighth day at sea. 
Fawn, how are you feeling by this point? Like shit. You think you're getting sick? I mean, not like a <laughs> cold, but I feel like shit because I'm not used to this still. It's been only a couple of days. What's that? Oh, a player is willingly admitting giving me rights to make them sick? Yes. <laughs> I am I Fawn would feel like shit. She's used to being on land. She's never been in a boat before. Lose three points of constitution. So she'll be like not not ability <laughs> drain, <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. Penalize. Jesus you don't Christ. lose ability score once you like step on a fucking boat. You just feel awful. Yeah. Alright. So uh on the eighth day, um the captain actually calls you up to uh, the deck, mm -hmm. and um, all of you. Can, can I okay. just add one thing in, Travis? That we've been doing sure. in the ensuing days is quite in the evenings after the crew is eaten. I I entertain them with music. Yeah, bards. bards Stories about cracking. Bards never would do. They're always employed on ships. Or often employed on ships keeps the crew happy and in line. You know. Yeah, you're you're bards. telling stories. You're playing your flute. Um, I'm taking my. Or else, seat, actually. So. Yeah, it definitely helps. Morale's, uh, you know, higher with a little entertainment. Mm -hmm. So cool. You guys um, get called up to the deck by the captain on the uh, the eighth day. He's got his spyglass now, and he's kind of like looking sort of behind and, and uh, to the east as you guys are continuing to sail north. Captain? Uh, looks like someone's coming up on us. From behind Fast. this time. Fast ship, faster than we are. Some kind of interceptor. Hmm. This is this is to all of us, correct? You said. Yeah, you're all there. How many ballista are in the ship, Captain? Uh, one in front, one behind. Any notable markings on the ship, Captain? You can see. I can't see. They're not close enough yet, but they're gaining on us. Keep us. We'll posted. be here before the day's done. Keep us posted. I'll uh. Captain, you know, ready. We are well prepared in many, many different ways. We wouldn't have been hired for this purpose unless we were capable. Says, I hope so. We've been sailing slow on purpose. Well, remember, we're letting them catch us. Don't be it's too up much. To you guys. Well, it's up to you guys to figure this out. I think. What uh, what course do you have plotted in the long term, even if it's going there slowly? If we're just sailing north. If we don't find anything after two weeks, we sail back south. Fair enough. I think that's a fine, a fine idea. You you know best with the ship, and we yeah, know best with the uh, with bandits. Pirates. Difference. <laughs> he he gives you a smirk and says, "We'll uh, be sailing around the islands if these don't turn out to be them." But let's well let's hope for the worst, right? And I, I chuckle and walk back to the the ballista and the and the, the this stern. guy. Cool. I'll fucking throw him overboard. Yeah, I have the right. <laughs> the <guy>. captain? <laughs> no, Durian. Oh, okay. <laughs> talking about bitches. Talking about practice. Coming. We talking Any... about practice. <laughs> Not a game. I, I got your reference, <laughs> and I don't even watch sports. I feel so proud. <laughs> You're like, oh, sports ball. Yeah, cool. sports Should ball. I... Do the thing. Do the ball. Yes. Do they have a spare grappling hook anywhere? <laughs> I'm sure they uh, do. I mean, no, this, yeah. I'd, with, with my rope, since it's only 25 feet across the ship, like side to side, you said, Yeah. I'd want to use some, like, because there's 10 feet of extra rope that I got from... They've got shit tons of rope. You have whatever you uh, need. Okay. For... <laughs> uh, I get, like, 25 feet of rope with a grappling hook, and I just have it with me in case I require it. I'm thinking okay. ahead. Okay. Just want to point out, 25 feet, not that much. Yeah. You can, you can like, hook it onto a coil of, like, 200 feet. How deep is the draft of this boat? Like, oh. how far from we have the water? Um, you guys are fairly low since you loaded down with supplies. Mm. Okay. Um, so your, uh, I don't know what a realistic draft is, so, I don't know, 10, 8, 10 feet? I don't know. Probably a little bit more, but like, yeah. yeah. Depends okay. how big the boat is, but... Ten feet, yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll call it ten feet. Um, cool. So, uh, after a while, you guys um, 
it's kind of confirmed. This this thing's coming up on you. Yeah. Um, and it is starting to get within, I will say, visual range. They they put it on on screen, and um, <laughs> Captain starts looking through his glasses on screen. Yeah. Well, we've got a flag. It's white with a big black tooth. <laughs> Should we call that isn't that, for, isn't that like, the flag of Locust Captain? Roadside assistance. <laughs> We're not on he, road. He, uh, he shakes his head and says, "Nope." Sorry, All pirates. right. Why don't uh, hey, Caben? Why don't you get uh, Swiftwind up and let him know? What's the plan with him? Worst comes to worst, someone even without a saddle can can hold on tight and get flown over to the ship. <laughs> I, I, I suddenly me. feel... I feel like... I suddenly feel like... Uh, I I'll let, I'll I'll let him like, know. Uh... I will let him know. <laughs> I'll go uh, ask Fawn for the... Or just say, Fawn, do you want to tell him, or should I... Yeah, so he's been, like, up on deck and flying around. I was gonna say, you, we've been kept him in that thing the whole do. time. Like, where is yeah, he no, right you, no, 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 no. He's been, like, up and about. I let Caven speak to him. With the right, ring. You give him the ring. Okay. Is this our shot? It might actually yes, I think so. I'm pretty sure it is, no. They they're flying the uh Bandits are silly, they're letting us know if they're coming. Well that's rather stupid of them. Let us punish the incidents. <laughs> they're pretty confident, but yes, oh. I think so. You may not have noticed, my liege. I'm confident as well. <laughs> You sassy. Thank you. That's good to know. Actually, uh, so um, what do you want me to do? Well, now like, Kevin kind of thinks, stops and yeah, Kevin Kevin thinks he's like, I says, don't really know. I have this. a plan, and we'll pick it up there. I next don't week. have a plan, but sure. But Kevin <laughs> thinks have a plan. Think about. Yes. <laughs> Within the next couple of minutes. <laughs> He kind of uh, he looks up. I think that's time. a good stopping point for tonight, guys. Sorry yeah. we had a shorter session, but uh, could not be helped. Some bards Tune need dinner before next we time before we begin. What happens? Yeah. On the next time. Okay, next time we'll we'll beginners. see some uh, shipside battle. Should we I continue? Think, or Fendi. some attempt for shipside battle. I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> but yeah, and guys, uh, and thanks play. for watching. Um, if you enjoy if you enjoy what we do here, please give the channel a follow. Um, if you miss what we stuff, you can find it on YouTube. And we'll be playing next Monday? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think, I think I'm good. Yeah, okay. Uh, next and, Monday. And yeah. viewers, I can guarantee there will be at least one fight. That's what he thinks, but okay. we're going to mess it all up. Huh. So. So, yeah, but no plan ever su survives. The we're all going to jump overboard Actually, at the same Harry, time. Hold on, Harry hold on a sec, guys. Yeah. Um, next Tuesday should be okay, but just in case, it's going to be tentative because... This is just Tuesday for Australia, by the way. This is like Aussie time. Yeah, yeah. Um, just because, well, if Luna has the puppies on that day, there's there will just be wrong cute ready. puppies on the camera. Okay, no, well, they so, don't. They, uh, it takes a few weeks before they get cute. Yeah, so, is she, no, they're still is cute. Pregnant? Shut up. No, they're just kind yeah. of. Uh, yeah, she is due not this Sunday. I missed it. So it would be your Saturday for you. Is but, she um, pregnant? Like of course she ago. is. She's going to have puppies. Yeah, um, yeah. Weeks ago, man. I, I sh I've shown the camera. On, okay, uh, okay. Before. Barring the puppy event, we'll be on next Monday. So yeah. Magical puppies. stay tuned. Magical puppies. <laughs>